So let's get started. Okay friends, the first step would be to open the browser of your choice. In this case, I am opening Google Chrome and I'm searching for something called Aptoid TV app. So as you can see, that is showing me a lot of results. Let's go to Aptoid TV, the first link that is showing. It will take me to the official website of Aptoid TV. Now, why we are doing this is because this is an app store in itself. The app store that you get is Google Play Store, which does not give us the app that we need. That is your Amazon Prime app, video app and other apps. So you're going to install this. Now it says install Aptoid TV. So we'll do that. So we'll click on this link. As soon as we click on this link, it will give us an option to download the file in a folder of our choice. I would suggest you go ahead and save this APK file and save it in the desktop for now. The file name would be Aptoid TV 3.2.5 or whatever the version, the latest one and dot APK. Okay, so I've stored the app that we just downloaded in this pen drive. So it's a simple pen drive and it's a very small app. Let's go to the mode where you can access the apps on your smart setup box or your smart TV interface where you access the apps. And then we need a file explorer. So for that, you need to go to your Google Play Store. So I'll go to Google Play Store. And once we have the Google Play Store, now I want a file explorer. So I'll quickly go ahead and search for it. Let's search in the free apps first if you can get, okay, here it is. Yes, file explorer, I'll click on it and it says install. So I'll install this. Then it says you need app permissions and all, I'll say accept all the app permissions I'm giving it. Now this file explorer is very important or file manager or whatever you might like to call it is actually it lets you access the files that are there on your pen drive or are there in the internal memory or storage area of your smart setup box or any your smart tv for other smart tvs i would recommend you can use the file explorer that works best for your smart tv or for your smart setup box so you need not necessarily download es file explorer but use any one that you want now it's installed it says you can open it directly so i'll not open it right now there's another step we need to do then we will go ahead and access this app it's downloaded as you can see here so i'll go ahead and come back to the main interface now i'll go to settings now what we need to do here is we need to enable third party app installation so for that we'll go to security and restrictions so once i went to the settings i'll go into security and restrictions that is there in your personal tab and now i click on unknown sources this will be off by default so go ahead and switch the setting to on and once that is done just press back back and again back and then we are here in our apps now let's search for es file explorer there it is so i'll click on es file explorer now this might give you a few errors to use it uh, just press on wait time and again don't worry it will work so you not worry about it it might crash one or two times that's perfectly all right this is the first crash message we are getting it's not responding I'm going to close it we'll say wait because we still need to access the file manager and we need to access the file that we have in the pen drive that is important so i said wait now here it is showing me the internal storage as well as the sd card we, we need the pen drive access so yes now it has now it is showing the usb 3 so as you can see the usb 3 is the third option yes okay on this or back whatever i go to left and let's see if i can access the usb 4004 i said open 
so here we have the app here so i went into the pen drive and the app is showing here so i click on this app type tv app now it says it's loading and it gives me an option to install now i'll scroll there and press install once i press install it will install just as any app that installs in your android mobile so the process is same in my case i don't need to install it again because it's already installed but you can go ahead and do the needful once you have done this just come out of this es file explorer press now once your app is installed go ahead and scroll to your aptoid tv app click on it now your aptoid tv app will start here this is an app store in itself it's a beautiful piece of software i would say because it gives you so many apps to access and use that were not there before on your smart set top box or any smart tv that you are using for it will give you a whole lot of apps that you can use so please bear in mind that aptoy tv app would work with android 6 and above so the set top box or any smart tv that you are using should have android 6 and above that is what i recommend enjoy the new app store so that's it guys do give me your feedback in comments thanks for watching my review